never had no life before me. I won't. You never had no life before me. You never had no life before me. Let's go. Let me go. Let's go. Let me go. Get the off of me. Get off of me. OK, so what is it worth me? Five hour loan. Five dollars? Dog, he trying to give you five dollars for that. What is that, a large pizza? What am I supposed to do with five bucks? Switch windows? What the hell are you thinking? Christina asked me, she was dealing with an irate customer. I switched her window to window one. What's the problem? You need to earn window one. Just because Christina's having a bad day doesn't give her the right. A customer came into the store hoping to pick out a little gift for herself in celebration of her birthday. That's my son. Oh, yeah, excellent. Yeah. It's my birthday. I'm looking yeah, for birthday. me a gift. Let me see that. 500. That's a lot. From the way the mother reacted, it was pretty clear her son's input wasn't really appreciated, and she was clearly hoping he'd shut up while she searched through the collection of jewelry. Shut up. Let me see this piece then. Where do you usually go shopping? The mall, actually. The mall? Yeah. Is that where you got those earrings? Yep. How much you spend on those? 500. How much is this one? 800. You spending that much money in a pawn shop, dude. But wait, so you spent 500 on those earrings? Yeah. They're CZs. <laughs> Bull damn that was a mistake swearing in front of his mom like that he's definitely setting himself up for a world to hurt if he keeps it up watch your mouth but that's bull why the hell he's gonna tell me that look i don't know fake. who the you think you talking to boo boo but you got me up that's bull you don't talk to me like that now he was acting all tough earlier but when it really came down to it the guy tried to make a quick escape before he could be more embarrassed by his mom unfortunately for him that failed since he still had to get in the car with her but at least she didn't have to throw a shoe or a slipper i will knock you smooth the f out she was hot who the f is so you what, talking you to who the f is you talking to boo you all talk to me like that. Next up, we got this guy who brought his girl into the store hoping to exchange her ring for something of a higher quality. How you doing, guys? All Hello. Right. Um, I'm looking like to upgrade her ring. OK. Need something bigger. OK. Now, Bobby J was more than happy to undertake that task, although his excitement couldn't really match the lucky ladies. Let me see this ring. So you want to I could take it off. You want me to take it off? Yeah, that's fine. OK. That's fine. You want to go with a marquee? You want to stick with rounds? Texting another girl while you're trying to upgrade your main girl's ring is definitely a scumbag move. And this guy's about to find out that he can't quite handle the can of worms that he's just opened up. Who is Tina? Man, Tina ain't really gonna do cousin, that? Man. Are you serious? No your cousin? Seven years. You ain't never brought up no Tina to me. Yeah, the moment she laid hands on him, Byron immediately stepped in to mediate, since it'd be pretty bad if things were to progress even further. We're not interested in the ring, then? Get off me. He's not acting grown. He's not acting grown. Stay big, bro. Keep walking. Just keep walking. These kids aren't going to make it. Baby girl, hold on. Would you calm down? Calm down. A very irate customer had a lot to say after standing in line for what he felt was close to two hours. A lie Ashley was ready to go all lengths to dispute. You got two, two working. How you doing? I'm finally here, you know what I mean? I've been in the land for like two hours, though, you know? We haven't even been open for two hours. It was like an hour and a half. All right, that was just rude, but rather than being combative, the best action to take is to just ignore his rude comments and just get whatever business he came for done with as soon as possible. You get out of here a lot quicker uh, if you don't Hold on, what is, this? what is this? What is what? This ain't what he told me he was going to give me. What did he tell you he was going to give you? Oh, hey, out. 400? Yeah. Now he was probably looking to intimidate Ashley into giving in to his demands, but what he said next was too much, even though Seth knew he had to set him straight. Yeah, see, you the type of motherfucker I've been a caught out sad and cracked you upside your motherfucking head. I told you once I don't want to talk to you. Don't I'd rather you talk to you this late. I would rather talk to you this late. Hold on, what you mean? You don't tell me, okay, what tell you? You're to me. You gonna talk to me with some respect. I got more women on the street out here hustling, doing things for me every night, every day. Come on, what's that? Pimp D, man. A pimp? Man, ain't no wonder he can't show an iota of respect when needed. Now, fortunate for him, they tried to get him out of the store rather than to escalate the entire situation. Just don't touch me, because if you touch me, I swear to God, it's going to be some repercussions. Man, I'm going to have my lawyer come up in here. I'm sending my lawyer up in here to take care of this. How y'all going to put me up out this month? Man. You feel what I'm saying? After complaining to Seth, Christina managed to get him to switch her and Nicole's station. A switch Nicole wasn't exactly fond of since it meant more work. You having fun? I am. In my seat? You know what, ma'am? No, I get out my seat. I have nice and she's going to come down there and help you. Come on. Get out my chair. Bye. Beat it. Get out my no, seat. Fighting in front of customers is bad form. 
and Les, who was making rounds, immediately tried to intervene since it's his store that they're defacing. What the hell's going on here? Seth told me to switch. <laughs> shut up. Can you shut up? I'm He's talking to me. I'm better than talking to me. Seth talk to me. Shut the hell up. Okay, okay, to okay, okay. To get everything under control, Les immediately headed over to have a chat with Seth, who had made the bad call that started the whole thing. Switch windows? What the hell are you thinking? Christina asked me, she was dealing with an irate customer. I switched her window to window one. What's the problem? You need to earn window one. Just because Christina's having a bad day doesn't give her the right. That was definitely enough to bruise Seth's ego. And for a second there, he almost forgot that he's just a manager who got the position due to the fact that it's his dad's store. Christina's staying there. Guess what, Seth? Still my store. Seth clearly hasn't learned from his body search idea. When he doesn't work with me, bad things happen. Your brother's an ass. Two cheaters walked into the store, and from the way they interacted with each other through the whole thing, it was pretty clear that they were a disaster waiting to happen. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. I'm actually looking to pawn these two watches because I'm trying to get the hell out of his house. Yeah. I mean, I'm tired yeah. of him. After I found out you was the one who was cheating first. It don't matter. It you matter. still with bitches. It doesn't matter anymore, though. So. Whatever. Since it's not her job to delve deeper, Ashley got right to work trying to check the jewelry that they brought in. So the problem with the watch is that it's not working and the crystal is broken. What about that one? Uh, this one I am not interested in because we don't take this brand. You don't take that brand? Fake. No. That's the brand. They probably shouldn't have come together. Maybe that could have helped lessen this huge mess. Because things went completely awry when this woman decided to put her hands on the guy. You never had no life before me. I won't. You never had no life before me. You never had no life before me. Let's go. Let me go. Let's go. Let me go. Get the f off of me. Get off of me. After they caught their head of security stealing, Les and the other golds were on edge, so they kept on making some very drastic decisions to make sure it never happens again. You, of all people, setting people behind his desk? What's wrong with you? Now that was absolutely uncalled for and downright disrespectful. All he did was make Les mad when he should be telling him whatever issue he's got on his mind so they can work it out. Do you understand the position you put us in? You set a new policy. Well, policy was no one is to go behind Jeff's desk. I just watched footage of Bobby J back in Jeff's area. He said you sent him back there. Honestly, it's Les's business, not his. So Les is free to do whatever he wants to as long as it makes sense to him. And then change up whenever you want. It makes you look like you don't know what you're doing. I had an irate customer, and I made the call. Oh, Except you know what? Oh. Bobby J's a loyal employee. There is no question. So is Joe. Is it just me, or is it really weird to see Ashley being the voice of reason in this situation? Shows how wrong the duo actually are. You just did. It's a rule that, that you're setting up. what I'm talking about. You guys stop yelling. Did you not hear him yelling at me? Do you not see what he's doing around here? In front of all the employees. You two have been at each other's throat since we caught Joe stealing. As expected, Ashley immediately pointed out how out of line Seth was being. Now, all he had to do was talk it out, but he just had to complicate things to fuel his huge ego. And Ashley sure as hell wasn't going to miss a chance to knock him down a couple of pegs. Look, it's time to move on. He's out of our life, he's out of our store, and we're not going to let this happen again to any of us. Period. Got it. Got it. This customer stepped into the store hoping to get a sizable sum of money for the gold chain that he brought in. I want to sell this right here. How much time to sell it for? 400. Probably a couple hundred. A couple of hundred? It's worth 400. That's 14K right there. It's more like 10K. Get somebody up here that know what they're talking about. Rather than waste her time arguing with this uncouth individual, Christina knew to just have Seth come over to deal with it. He wants 400 to sell it. I thought it would be a couple hundred. 200. That's about right. Nah, man. That's 14K right there. It's worth it's more 10 than carat. This guy was ready to start something, and Seth has never been one to back down from a challenge. I'm saying, if you're feeling that way, man, come on out here and holler at me, man. Come on out here and holler at me, dog. Or what? Or what? Watch it. Show. Oh, you want to see? What? You're going to see it right now. There you go. Watch out, man. Hold up. Hold up, man. Go. With Byron's help, they managed to expel this annoying individual off the premises before he could do any damage. Come on, Let me go, bro. Let me go. 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 Let me
go on me, bro, man. Let me go, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Don't mm -hmm. put your mother hands on me. An upcoming rapper looking to raise some money for his album decided to drop by the store to pawn some of his jewelry. What you want to do, pawn or sell? I'm trying to pawn it. How much did you want? It took about 20, 25 bucks. Let me get this money so I can get this it's silver. Over. Now, who needs enemies when you got friends like this? The guy he came with kept on trying to stoke the flame of anger in this customer. Okay, so what, what is it worth? Me? Five hour loan. Five dollars? Dog, he's trying to give you five dollars for that. What is that, a large bro. pizza? What am I supposed to do with five bucks? A mother <laughs> Slurpee with five dollars. Sure you can, and then you can buy her a small Slurpee and you can have three dollars change. Oh, he just tried to kill you. Said. Since that didn't work out as expected, the guy tried to pull another item up for pawn, his watch. Ten dollars on the watch. Oh my God, dog. I can't believe this, bro. For your watch, bro, for a brain. You understand what, what did I'm you saying? call that? That's the ghetto brightly. Les wasn't exactly helping the case with the snide remarks he was making, but still, it was wrong of this customer to call him what he did. There's other places. Go to them. Well, I need Here's I the need. deal. Fifteen dollars. Take it or leave it. Hell no, nah, man. There's the door, guys. See man, you later. give me, give me twenty. There's uh, the door. Rather than get into a fight with them, Les decided to have them tossed out of the store instead. Oh, oh, you gonna call the boys, I huh? I didn't call him, and he's not My a boy, man, but, he's a man. Uh, you gotta grab me, though? I grab me. Man. That's some <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> you let him disrespect you today, man. <laughs> American jewelry and loan. So give me $5, son. How y'all ladies doing? Can I walk with y'all? So this customer probably doped out of his mind. Since there's no way anybody in their right senses would think to do this, this dude walked over to meet Les to make a very unreasonable demand. Who's the manager? I'm the manager. You're the manager? Uh-huh. So you can help me then. I came in here, I sold a TV. Flat screen is 73 inches. I was wanting uh, 500 for it and gave me 300. If he had an issue with the amount he was offered, he could have spoken out earlier. So barging in and asking for some more money after the deal's been finalized isn't going to cut it at all. You're f me, dude. I mean, I need more money for my TV, dude. You can't help me? I mean, there's nothing I can do. You already took the money. So you can't help me out? You can't make nothing right? Help me. The only thing this guy's gonna get today is a concussion. That's not enough money for what I gave. Since he refused to listen to reason, Byron stepped in immediately to escort him out. Can't you give me something else? Time to go, my man. Can't you give me something else? What? Strapped for cash, this customer had no other option than to bring his recently deceased grandmother's jewelry to the store just to get enough to cover rent. My grandma just passed. I'm sorry. Well, I was like hoping to see what I could get for this. So whose ring is this? My grandma's. Now, unfortunately for him, it's a fake. But Ashley wasn't going to give up on him. So she made a little suggestion. Anything else? Because this, unfortunately, is not real. It's not real. What you mean it's not real? Do you have a TV? Yeah, I got a TV. OK. But why would I do that? If why not if you need it? money? I'm trying to do whatever I can to help him. Annoyed by his really rude behavior, Ashley had definitely had enough of the guy. When she thought he was going to take his leave, he did this instead. I'm trying to help you solve like, what your you issue. Mean? What I'm you mean? trying to help you solve like your this, issue. Lower your voice. The guy was getting a little too close for comfort, and in the process, he even managed to touch Ashley a bit. Now, Byron wasn't going to let that slide. He moved in to subdue him immediately. Face. Don't put your you me in your face. No, you got me. She ain't by herself, my man. No, I calm down, my man. Let's go. No, you got me. No, let's go. Joe makes a simple request to a customer in line. He doesn't expect the theatrics that he gets. The customer goes from zero to 102 faster than Joe knows how to handle, and that's saying a lot because he's dealt with all manner of crazy. You want to drop the white Ford? White Ford conversion van. A white what? White four conversion van, that's you? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, you, you got me. You got me when you call me, man. All right, can you get me? Patiently telling you, dude. Ain't no <laughs> parking <laughs> spots outside, dog. When they start to scream like that, you know they're going to be a handful, and the dude doesn't disappoint. Okay, well, I'm about to do this now. Oh. Don't do that, man. What the <laughs> What the f***? What the f***? Don't touch me, man. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hi. Who is you? I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. Can we go talk outside? Man, tell your man to get off. Here, walk Don't outside. Don't touch me. Get the off me, man. I'm not going nowhere. I'm still... No! 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 no!
Ow! Now this guy literally snapped, dropped, and rolled on the carpet of our store. All right, well, that's a lot of gymnastics because of a touch. Moving on to the next customer on our list, this lady may not be trying to steal Les's carpet, but is surely trying to erode his peace of mind. No, I'm talking to you. You know what? I'm gonna come and show your bitch ass. Yeah, yes, yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Ma'am? You know what? You know what? Miss, get somebody to help me, please. What do you need help with? I'm need some help with my rings right here. Can you take off your rings? Wait, you just walking up on me to my kid, you see my rings, I don't even know who you is. I am Ashley. You go on yelling at someone's store and call them rude? Who does that? Well, this lady apparently, and it's time to go, and of course, the security guard is ready to see her out. I can help you. I don't want you to be the one to help. You want me to help you? I don't walk I up on me. I can help you now. Do not f walk up on me. Or else what? Okay, keep walking to find out. No. All right, f that. Ma'am? Don't f follow me no more. I won't come back in this bitch. All the motherfucking times I've been coming in here giving y'all my motherfucking This lady needs a favor, but she refuses to do the one thing that might help her case be polite. Unfortunately for her, Seth is in charge today, and we all know that he suffers no fool. Hi, what you doing? Good. I left my ticket on the counter yesterday, and I'm trying to see um, who you guys have it. Can I get another one? There is no one in my system with this address. How are you going to tell me when I left my ticket on the counter? No, no I, I was no, getting another key no, card. Maybe not I here. Work. That's Look it. at your computer and see what the have a nice day, no, man. Have a nice day is the code phrase for security in the store, and a sure sign Seth is bored with the lady's common theatrics. She doesn't leave without a fight, or should we say a dance? Somebody else coming to the window. Call them now. Call I them did. Louder. I did. Call them louder. I, people can Call hear them louder. you. People can hear Call you. Them Call them louder! No. Oh, yeah, what's what's supposed to be? You ain't gotta touch me. Who are all this? Is all Girl, you come on, go. now. Go ahead. Okay, okay, all right. Here you go. All you gotta do. Come on, baby. Here we all go. You gotta do. Sales come with rejection sometimes, but this next customer doesn't know how to handle it without assaulting the bearer of the news. Cuz, what's up with this? Give me one second, sir. I'm just looking for a couple of dollars, you know what I'm saying? To be honest, I don't think we're gonna take them, brother. You say what? Damn, y'all ain't trying to look out at all. And then wow. you got cuz. You know right it's here. outdated. You got pop standing behind me. What's up with that? Nothing. Y'all about to rush me. So y'all about to rush me or something? He might not be getting money for his merchandise, but the dude is eager to get a fine because if he keeps on acting that way, Les might just call the cops. Hey, yo, man, carry my shit out. Then y'all wanted to do like that. Y'all surrounding me around this month. I mean, what's up with that? On that, on that moment. This is my. Right here. How about if we don't have yeah, you come back in here? Oh, it's like it's like that. Hold on. Well, how about that? He isn't the only one who knows how to throw stuff. Next time, he'll act better and maybe get his stuff back at least. The customer really gets under Les's skin because it's pretty rare that he's ever this pissed. I don't care how old I am, I'm never too old to beat your ass. American jury, where the f is the law on it? Tell him to carry my shit out, man. We're not taking it out. That's my Look in the dumpster, it'll be there tonight. Yeah. Nobody likes losing their things in pawn, but this customer takes it to an entirely new level. He is very explicit about his displeasure with the options available due to the store's mix-up. I want my I paid for my to get back. Not nobody else. I don't want nobody. I want my I can give you the money back that you paid to redeem it, or you can just wait a week. He's sending me home with nothing. I'm sorry. Maybe Les should have kept swallowing the customer's attitude because things got chaotic with that comment. It's like watching a bomb go off. Hey, I'm a man, you a sure, man. Don't you pissing me off. I don't give a f who, how many m you got with you? I don't give a f how many m you got with you? I don't give a f So what does that mean? I, it means what I said. You a man, I'm a man. Don't be stupid. You a man, you don't, don't be stupid. stupid. I don't give a f I was relieved to have him restrained and out of sight of the rest of my customers. But we still have to get his deal resolved and get him out the door. Customer isn't making this easy at all. It's gonna take Les and his staff a little bit of time to live this one down. Whatever I owe you, you're gonna get. You don't think I'm supposed to be mad? Well, here's what I can give you. I'll give you 150 bucks. I can let you use a game temporarily. They gave the customer the wrong merchandise. My system has been working for 30 years. Woman comes into the store hoping for a miracle, but unfortunately, the golds don't offer one of those. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm well. I'm here today. I want to pawn my computer. I'm trying to get my son into a technical high school. You head in for 100. But I need 150. I know, but I can't give you 150. Okay, but 
Can you consider the fact that I've been patronizing this business since 97? Ashley's reached the limit of the help that she can render, but that isn't enough for the lady. There's only one type of help left to offer her. Help out of the freaking door. I, well, I don't give everybody what they want. 50. Well, if you have As something, a patron where, that's been patron you, since 97. Are you done? No, I'm not done. Okay. Do you want the 100? No, no I don't. Okay, then goodbye. Uh, what the hell are you with your wrinkled eyed ass? You need to go somewhere and get some Botox or some You know what? Wait. Get out. I'm not get going out, out of here. Get Put out. Me up. The first thing you learn in the store is that you never know what to expect. And this time around, Les has the pleasure of meeting a kid stuck in an adult male's body. Can I get like 400 for this watch right here? It's worth a 20. Mm -hmm. How much you pay for it? Maybe like seven. You want $10? I don't want no I don't do it $10. I have no idea. No level of cajoling will get a penny out of less. And the earlier the customer gets that, the better. But it doesn't look like he gets it, though. 400? No. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a bullshit ass place, man. This whole ass place, dog. It's on that tip, dog, man. Y'all, man. It's a bull. Being an employee of American Jewelry isn't easy. Apparently, the show's got the most toxic customers, and it takes a lot of patience and wisdom to deal with them. This man right here is a typical example of what the employees have to deal with every single day. It takes nothing to complain properly, but no, this guy probably thinks that making a scene will make him do what he wants. I got a problem. I got a loan on my wife's ring. Yeah? And when I first started coming here, I got a VIP card. I got more on the loan. Now you guys put me to a gold card and I get nothing out of it. You think this is Funny? I don't think it's funny. I think that there's something wrong when you start hitting your head against the side of the window. You know, for talking a bunch of shit, dude, as small as you are. Seth is sassy, and he's got the right attitude for customers. This man came all the way from his house to intimidate Seth. Now the focus is not on Seth, but on Big Joe. Big Joe's one of the beta security guards in the show. He literally comes in at the right time. How he manages to be polite and also push the customer out at the same time is impressive. That crazy customer came in thinking he was built tough. Well, Big Joe must have made him rethink that. Oh, you're an idiot. What are you going to do about it? I'm not going to do anything about it. What are you going to do about it? I am not going to do anything about it. Oh, my man, have a good day, my man. Really? Have a good day, sir. Yeah, have a good day. We yeah. big day? Yeah. I don't think so. Have a good day, man. Good day. Hell no, f*** this now, this is a pawn shop that is strictly business, but this lady clearly doesn't understand that. What she needs right now is a relationship therapist and to not bug Ashley with her pathetic love story. The first thing she needs to adjust is her attitude. For somebody who's desperate to get her baby daddy out of jail, she can definitely do better than that. Um, I was coming in to try and get like 1500 for this. Okay. I'm trying to get my baby daddy out of jail, and I've been really trying to work things out with us. Okay, I can help you, but not for that much. Yes, for that much. This bag All is right. worth at least a good 4000 by itself. This one, this one's a good one. Here comes Big Joe. He knows the perfect time to show up. This is a general pawn shop, and if she thinks those baseball cards are worth more, then she could head over to a store that specifically deals on baseball stuff. The only good thing about this episode is how the lady caught her cards perfectly. Big Joe wants to give this lady a hug since she's sad, but that isn't what she wants at all. I said I want $1,500. I'm not giving you $1,500. $1,500. I am not no. giving you $1,500. Let's play some sports. Hundred. Bring me my money. Let me get a hug. No, don't give me no damn hug. Oh, you need a hug. I don't want no damn hug. hug. Get, get off of me. Good day, baby. I don't want no hug from you. It's not every day that we see customers who want something costlier. Now, if he thought this watch was beautiful, he should have just bought it. Maybe the price is below his class. Finally, Mr. Bugatti has seen what he likes. Hi, how are you? Looking for a watch, a nice watch. You know what I'm playing? Sure. Which one? That one right there. This one? Yes, ma'am. Hey. Woo-wee. That is sharp. Can I try it on? It's real nice right here. I think I can look good when I go out with this That one's sharp. How much is this one right here? $5.99. Oh, no. Oh, no, me. Do you want See, a mirror? Bugatti, when Bugatti go out, he got to look right. The moment the man brought out the money and tried to explain, we knew things weren't going to turn out well. It's either this dude's from centuries ago when $2 bills could be worth a lot, or he's just gone nuts. Now, he even wants change. 
but at least $2 two centuries ago is not worth $2,000 today. Big Joe could have stayed a little so we could keep on watching the drama. It's worth a lot of money, so this, I should get some change back. It's a $2 bill. Okay, and it's worth $2,000. It's rare to find a two-dollar bill that got red in it. You know what? Okay. I'm gonna tell you something. Okay. You old bologna sandwich. Y'all ain't got no money. You know okay. what I'm have a good day. Please have Big a good mouth. Big mouth is hungry. <laughs> this employee was nice and polite to the customer. Now he did nothing to trigger the guy at all. Twenty bucks is good for that old-looking thing. Now he doesn't even have a clue what he's with. He probably stole it or something. Now he says he needs his money as if he's entitled to it from the pawn shop. Yeah, man, I'm trying to see how much I can get for this. I'm trying to get like, I'm trying to get at least a hundred for it. hundred dollars? Yeah. I won't even be able to sell it for near that. I paid like $200 for it, though. Man. Do you know how many I'm sitting on in the back? Do you know what it is? It don't matter how many you sitting on sure, in the back. because then I can't sure. sell them. I need my money. I'm I understand. Need at least a hundred dollars for this. And yeah, take your out of here. How about one zero zero? You can give me what the I earned. $20 what the I'm gonna do with $20? I don't know. Huh? The worst mistake this guy ever made was to hit less. Joe is usually soft when taking the customers away, but that wasn't the case this time. Nobody messes with the boss at all. This customer got less enraged, and now Seth and Ashley will bear the consequences. You call them. Really, mother? I got this. I got it. You wanna give me more than $20? Out. Time to go. You. I've been waiting for an hour. Really? I got a guy out there screaming and yelling at me because well, of that something, something that new? you did. Your system does not work, Seth. I've been watching this go down all day. Nothing is as annoying as when customers act like they're entitled to money from the pawn shop. This isn't the government, this is a business. Now, what happened to talking nicely and respectfully? Instead of looking for common ground, the man keeps raising the price. What are you looking to do? I'm looking to get some money for it, man. I'd like to get, and I'm going to get, about 50 or 60 bucks. Can't walk out of here without it. I'm I'm broke. I'm hurting. At least 60 bucks, please, man. Wasn't he just at 40? Yeah, we'll just keep on going up and up and up. <laughs> I started thinking, this guy is dangerous. And it was that statement that sealed the customer's fate. Les gives this man the chance to take his jacket and get out of the building with his nasty attitude. But it looks like he wants some trouble. It's heartwarming to see how all the guards come in to protect Les. Les is both bad and good employees, but we know for sure that his guards are his best ones. Here you go, sir. Yes, I am. Not as nuts as me, though, brother. Give me you wouldn't have it, a clue how nutty I can be. I'm the craziest mother you ever saw in your life. But so what if I jump at you? Oh, I don't want to do that, man. See that big gun this mother got? Thank you. I offered him 10 bucks for the jacket at first. I offered just, him 20. Yeah. Push comes to shove, I'm going to be doing the pushing. It was reasonable for Ashley to suspect that the laptop was stolen. Does she mean she didn't even try to check whether the laptop was in good condition before bringing it in? So look who's talking about having a bad attitude. First of all, these customers come in with touching stories, but along the line, their attitudes give them away. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I like your nail polish colors. Thank you. What do we got here? A uh, laptop? A laptop. Can you type in your password? There you go. Perfect. And how much did you want to get on this today? At least 165 I can do 150 hey, Learn how to talk. Learn how to talk. Learn how to talk. Have a good day. You were too silly. Ashley does deserve accolades for her patience, though. Dealing with people like this every day is incredibly draining. So even though this is her family business, she still deserves praise for giving it her all. Excuse me, sweetheart. Are you a lady? I am a or are you, well, you're not woman. acting like one. I am a grown ass woman. You're not acting Flat like out. one. Like I said, like I am a I grown said, ass you're woman. You're not acting. What the like you looking at? What the you looking at? Don't touch me. What the you looking at? Don't, don't touch me, stupid bitch. You, you don't know me, bitch. You looking at me? You want to do something? Do something. We get folks of all kinds. Since everything's in the system and the customers will get a receipt, it's no one's fault that this lady doesn't remember the transaction she had. The employee tried to explain things to her, but she just wasn't having it. In my, I had a beat maker. I don't have my ticket, but I do got my license. You don't have anything in pawn with us. You sold the items. They sold my Where's your ticket? I don't have a ticket. When you sold us the merchandise, you got a ticket. No, I so lost it. it. 
You lost it? Yeah. I need my Show me the ticket. I the don't ticket have my ticket. That's what I'm telling you. I right. lost my ticket. Well, there's nothing I can do for you. When Les takes things into his own hands, things always get interesting. He literally took over from Big Joe. Okay, so I just make a phone call. A little my phone call? My brother be up here to handle y'all my ass. No, ma'am, 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 you have to leave. I'm not leave. leaving. Ma'am, come with me. Back up, And get ready if anybody comes and approaches us. Right, you, better, you better be ready. For what? Because my brother don't come up here and hand me your ass. Go I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. Leaving this woman was not the only thing her ex-husband did. He also gave her a fake ring, and she just couldn't handle that fact very well. How long were you married? 13 years. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so I need some cash. Okay. He gave me this ring, and I want to see how much I can get for it. It's going to be under 1000 Under 1000 Yes, ma'am. Why? Well, because you have a little chip on the side of your stone. Come on, let's just go somewhere else. No, you don't know a damn thing. Poor woman. No husband. You want to try to hustle me. You must think I'm stupid. Byron the Snuggle Bus has a job waiting for the woman's son if he ever wants to be a security guard for the pawn shop. He did impressive work with his mom. You want to get her before I get her? Yeah, mom, let's go. Let's just, let's wait, go. Let's I'm go. not going. Yeah, He's go just stopping else. me. Hey, what? This, this man's wait, wait, wait. seven foot tall. Wait, wait, wait. Who you messing with? Get on over here! Damn it! Oh, you're powerful! Yes! Woo! <laughs> I've never seen this like that! You need a job, young man? Woman comes in demanding money for a beat-up printer. She ends up in the arms of the pawn shop security man and then out of the store. Hi, my name is Dominique and I wanted to uh find this printer for thirty dollars. You gonna give me thirty dollars today, right now. I need uh, you thirty dollars. You can get thirty dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna get thirty dollars. No, I don't I don't, I don't care about it being busted up with the We're not either. taking it. No, no, y'all gonna take it. Y'all gonna take this printer. Okay. Dad. Dad. Now it's time to go. Go. So she throws it down on the ground, breaks it to pieces, and then we had to escort her out. <laughs> This woman ponder golf clubs but still wants them back. She thinks playing ignorant can intimidate the staff to give her what's already been sold. What are we doing today? Just getting out my golf clubs. Your clubs? Yeah. You sold the clubs to us. You didn't pawn them. I clearly have a clear head. I've been sober a lot longer than you are today. If you passed your drug test, I don't think so, honey bunch. Really? Really. She then insulted Les, his staff, and his religion. This lady needed to leave the store, and Les, his security guard, made sure it happened. It would be very amazing if you get off your ass and have your thugs look for them. Let me make this perfectly honest. Uh, let me let make me. it perfectly clear. Jimmy. Anyone down on the lock, you make big fat money off of in your Jewish ways. Bitch. Get your hands off of me. Go outside. Get your hands off of me. Miss, get your damn mother hands off of me. This bitch had to go. Ma'am? Go yourself. The most immature customers fight over a coat. Ashley decides they're not worth the trouble, but even security has a hard time breaking up the childish fight. This is my no, jacket. No, no. I just put that there. Oh, you didn't have your hands on it. No, I just put that no. there. Give me my jacket. Hey, hey, I'm taking this off. I'm taking this off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just, I just put you it on my cat. You can't touch okay. a customer in here. I'm taking the coat home. Nobody's taking the coat home. Both of you guys go. No. Nobody gets the coat. No. no. Nobody gets the coat. Nobody gets the coat. I want the coat. Nobody's going to get the coat. Yeah, whatever. No, you. You. Whatever. Bitch. This next customer doesn't have a refusal. Hey, 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 what's up, dog? How you doing? Well, I just got this phone that I bought here like two, three days ago, and this don't work. As soon as you give me that receipt, I can see what I can do for you. I don't have my receipt. I just clearly told you that, man. Clearly you told me that. I was going to clearly have to knock his freaking head off. You didn't buy that from us? Yes, I clearly did. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on over here. You can go back to selling that computer. No, hold on. No, no, no. Don't touch him and let him go. It's a simple question. Does this phone work? You know what, Joel? Can you go show him how it works? Uh, take a picture out in the parking lot. Don't touch my phone, Show, show dog. him how the phone works outside. Why are you touching me? OK, just don't touch me then. Two angry rednecks stir up some trouble when the pawn shop doesn't want their outdated hardware. Out of the blue, an elderly woman puts the rednecks in their place. No security's needed this time. Oh. How you guys doing? Good. Got some equipment here. Yeah. 
paper. We need some money, we're going to help West. Most people don't get that aggravated when they bring in like ancient artifacts. Yeah, they people want... collect these. Oh, they're antiques now. You don't have to be a smart ass I'm not about trying to be a smart ass, I'm trying to help You're giving us a thing, man. You know, I couldn't give them anything for these computers, but it's good to know ZZ Top is still in Detroit. Nice and have that. Put it in the dumpster. If you want. The friend of the man who came in to get a friendship or engagement ring is the only guy who got thrown out, and for a good reason. He was just looking out for his friend. Friendship ring? A friendship ring? Yes. Nice friendship ring for my friend. What, what does that mean? Um, I really love her. Yeah. You know, she's more than a friend. Right. Ooh. No, that's How do you not a friendship ring, though. No, it's an engagement no, ring. Mike, Engage, but you just said you were a friendship ring. Don't worry, Mike. I'm dealing with him. Please mind your business. So, carrot 75. But it's no, his God, money. Who are you? Yeah, you can't spend my I'm, money. That ring probably cost $2,000. $4,500. $4,500. I'm getting a deal. Why you I can't get a deal? You lost your my damn mind. You lost your Everything is up now in my mind. Don't worry about it, you sir. Know, we're, we're open till up, 6. Man. Why are you so mad that he's spending the 1500 though? Because he's my friend. Who the hell go and spend 1500 on something? When a man can't get 20 bucks, he assaults a tree and runs away before security can stop him. Byron gives him some good advice before he goes. I would like to get a loan on this, please. Okay, how much would you like? $100. Okay. I can do the $100. Okay. I get my 100 plus another 20%, which make 120 No, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you serious? I need my $20. I uh, want $100. Come on, bro. Hold on. Let me prove my point. Hey, straight up. My man, let this go. Can I get my money? No, hey. actually, I'm not even offering you the $100 anymore. Oh, for real? I'm, yeah, for real. F you in that $120. Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. Side. I'll take the sign with me. I'm going to get something out this bro. I'm going you down for the sign, my man. Laptop pawn goes all wrong, and now security has to escort this angry woman out of the store. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I like your nail polish colors. Thank you. What do we got here? A uh, laptop? A laptop. Try again. There you go. Perfect. And how much did you want to get on this today? At least 165. I'm here to help you. Okay, well, you have a really, really bad attitude. It's like you don't like your job. You don't like your job. You shouldn't work here, sweetheart. I'm sorry. You really shouldn't. You want me to help you? Your worst mistake is to tell me off. If you can't do 165, then I can take my business somewhere else. Flat out. You done? You I don't give a like I said, I don't care. I can take my business somewhere else. The woman manages to start yet another fight with a customer. Byron has no other option but to carry the angry woman out of the store and make sure that nobody hurts themselves. Hey. Hello, how are you? How you doing? Um, I was here yesterday and I had got my TV out of pawn. Okay. I need this receipt to show what I spent my money on. We don't get receipts. Y'all give receipt. out receipts. I do business with y'all all the time. You're sure you're at the right place? Bitch, I beat your mother you look nice today. Bitch, your mama look nice. Can you give me my receipt, please? Just because you don't agree with my rules doesn't mean you can act like a fool. So you gonna sit there and act like that? Yes. Bitch, I'll burn this mother down. Okay, it's time for your ass to get out of here. This lady claims that she spent a grip in the store, but if she's to have any help of reclaiming her money, she needs to get a grip on her temper. But all we know is that it's easier said than done. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? I asked for a chinchilla scarf. Yeah. And you sold me a rabbit. A bunny. How do you know it's rabbit? Because my girl told me it was rabbit. I took it home. She it... threw it back at me and told me this ain't chinchilla, this is rabbit. Only one thing's going to clear this up, and of course the customer doesn't have it. Who throws away the receipt before deciding how satisfactory the product is? Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. You don't see this? Look at it. It's flying through there. Look at that. Ain't nothing chinchilla about it. I want my money now. Have a good day. F you too. I want my money. Man, I spent good money up in this bit. Why you so violent, girl? Go on up out of here. Looks like the answer is everybody who comes to American Pawn and Jewelry. The next customer on our list has a ton of diamonds, but with no leg to stand on, there really is little the golds can do for her. That's the golden rule. My niece bought me some earrings from here. Oh, that was she nice. Bought them, uh, one of the diamonds was missing, and I wanted to know, can I get my money back? Do you have the uh, receipt? No. Do can gifts come with a receipt? Yeah. yeah. Second of all, no cash on the receipt, it says no cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. 
There are many things wrong with this lady's jewelry, and Ashley can swear it didn't come from them. Of course, the customer doesn't like the sound of that. Nobody does, and things get more real than her earrings. Well, um, excuse me, anybody buying any jewelry from here? Don't get no more jewelry from here, because this ain't good. Get out of here. Get out of the store. Two options. You, you pick whichever option you want. You can leave. No, I'm Second going to wear. Second option what? is you can get the receipt. Wait a mother minute. Now get your hands off. I guess you'll leave. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back. I'll be back. See you then. Blue ass baby. When a purchaser brings his aunt with him to fight for his rights, you can be sure that it's not going to end well. But if there are any doubts, his response to Seth's golden question clears it up. I'm Barbara. Nice to meet you. And this is my nephew, nice Leon. Leon. Hey, Leon, nice to meet you. We came up here a couple of weeks ago, and my nephew had pawned his TV in. Right, so he pawned about three months ago. Yeah, so we're up here now, and all he wants is a remote for his TV. You have a receipt that you, where you purchased it? Only thing uh, I have. There's no evidence a remote was part of what this lady's dearest nephew bought. But guess when it comes to family, she doesn't believe in following logic. Now it's too bad for the duo that Seth doesn't subscribe to theatrics. Oh, I got it right here. That's the barcode for the TV. Oh, you took the barcode off the TV. Yeah, if we could just get, get a remote home. for the TV, right. you know, that'd be all good. I can sell you a universal remote. No, be no, like, no, no. He pawned the no. TV. It was a remote toy. You want to buy one? So you get my nephew his remote the right barber. now. Yeah. Get your auntie. 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 We're going to get, get your remote. Let's go. Come on, Reed. What? While the fights for proof mostly happen in sales, sometimes those in pawn also get their proof mixed up. Stuff, my two TVs. I need your ID or the ticket. Uh, my what? ID or your ticket. I don't have no ticket or no ID. My stuff was stolen in pawn. Man, was there an issue? Two TVs were stolen. A ring. And I just drove up here from Flint. I need my. So did you make a police report? Can't do it back here. The lady may have no ticket or even the most basic form of ID. Maybe she's a sleeper cell agent. But what she does have is a healthy dose of crazy, which she hopes is going to help her buy a TV. Doors right there. Have a good day. Because you got a big dude, you think you hard? Most customers fight because they got no receipt, but it's rare to see one fight because she wants one. This lady's got to be a pro at doing her tax returns, or in this case, her boyfriend's returns. And I had got my TV out of pawn. Okay. They didn't give me a receipt, and I need the receipt. We don't give out receipts. What you mean you don't give out receipts? We don't get our receipts. Give out receipts. I do business with y'all all the time. You're sure you're at the right place? Well, that escalated fast. What other proof of payment for her own stuff does a lady want? Except that it's back at home with her like the pawn never happened. I need a receipt. My man needs to know what the f I spent my money on. And you sitting there looking all stupid. And you can look at me like you stupid if you want to. I want my mother receipt. We don't give our receipt. Just because you don't agree with my rules doesn't mean you can act like a fool. Can I get my receipt? My man wants to know what the f with my money. Can I get I don't know what the you've been doing with you. If she doesn't get into trouble with the IRS, she'll definitely get into trouble with the police. Who goes to somebody's territory and threatens them with arson? Okay, it's time for your ass to get out of here. Get your ass out of here. You better get your hands off me. You better get your ass, bitch. Oh, no, the Raising your voice does not get you better service. The only thing it does is get your ass thrown out of here. We hear funny excuses all the time at the store, but one you don't hear often is that somebody stole my ticket. Okay, to what end? Nobody's taken anything out of pawn with no means of identification. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. I'm coming to get my earrings out. I ain't got my pawn ticket, but I got my ID. Okay, you know it's going to be a $7 charge for the ticket. Right, but somebody stole my ticket. Ma'am, can I help you? I'm overhearing some Who yelling. are you? Who are you? Manager, can I help okay, you? Okay, first of all, y'all got all this money, and y'all can't make me a copy of my no, you don't have your receipt. The $7 extra charge for having no receipt has already gotten the customer into a twist, and when she finds out that there's more to lose, she loses her cool. Can't say I can blame the lady, though, with Ashley brandishing the receipt in front of her like that. Oh, bad. It says it on 
your ticket that you didn't have them when you brought them in? We don't have them. I'm gonna whoop your ass. You are? You see them cars in the back over? I'm not no cars up. And it looks like it's probably time for this lady to get out of here before she ends up hurting somebody. Get out. You get out. Put me out. Put me out. You gotta put me out this bitch. Hey. I ain't going no my you know, that's face. Joe. I don't care who he is. Okay. Put your stretch pants on. Oh, I'm Girl, sorry. Out. A biker with attitude and no receipt gets the only remedy for people like him when he starts yelling at Karen for a miracle. Uh, I want my money back or... You bought it here? Go, yes. This coat looks a little beat up to me. Yeah, you're telling me. I'm not very happy. Do you have your receipt? No. Does this dude realize the number of people walking through that door daily? Except that he's Ryan Gosling's twin, there's zero chance of Karen remembering the guy. I want my money back or I want another coat. Can't help you unless you have a receipt. I can't give you another call without I just a receipt. Take, I'll just take one. Then. What do we got? Uh, Byron? What do we you got? You want to assist here? this, sir? What do we got here? What's wrong? I'll take this whole damn wreck. Hold on, my man. Hold on. I'll take this whole wreck. What? This ain't you, man. Hold on, man. Let's go. What? The last customer on our list isn't too happy with what he got the last time in the store, but this little issue can't work out without a receipt. Hey, man, I need to talk to somebody about this. This piece of junk I bought in here just a couple days ago don't work now. It's broken. Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. I didn't think I needed to keep it. There's nothing I can do for you without a receipt. If you had the receipt, I could give you an exchange. I could give you some. I don't want an exchange because it's probably going to be some again. Bless has a solution to all kinds of problems, and it's none other than its trusted security. As expected, Byron provides the swiftest answer to the meathead's issues. Anything. All, all, and you can back off too, man. Like all this uh, security standing around or whatever. I don't give He's a rat's ass my... about that. Well, we don't you know give a mean? rat's ass either. Like I said, there's no that. receipt. Look here, man. You better back off, too, oh, man. Like, don't man, touch him. Sucks, man. Man. Don't touch him. Come on. Come on, man. Let's go. Really? Let's go. Hey, let's go. I told you, man. Let's go. This customer came walking into the store with a very ferocious beat to her steps, making it clear that she was pissed off by something or someone. Hi. Hi. I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay. I went to get my purse back to make my payment. She's telling me this is expired. That's my purse right there. That one right there is black one. Naturally, the scenario she claims now could actually happen, especially after her ticket has expired. But the thing is, Ashley apparently knows how the purse truly made its way onto the shelf. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. Here's the money. I want the purse. That bag was never in pawn. Since the lady remained delusional, Ashley tried to make things clear to her in an attempt to stop her from causing more scenes than she already has. If you want to buy it, I just want to look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not. First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a and idiot. You. Give me my purse or I'm going to come over that counter. After that very uncomfortable moment they spent staring each other down, the lady knew she wasn't going to get her way as easily as she thought she would. So she rethought her steps and tried to do the unthinkable. Okay. Oh my God. Get, get your hands off me. Have a nice day. Let's go. Walk oh, yeah. yourself out, you. you. Walk get yourself, your hands off Walk me, yourself out. You'd think those were the worst ones yet, but wait till you see this lady who was trying to bring in her TV. Well, she was until it suffered a pretty nasty fall. Oh, hell no. Kills me. Excuse me. Bitch, you hear me? Bitch, well, you made bitch. me drop my TV. You dropped your TV because you wanted to drop With how hard they were going at it, it almost seemed as if the lady was getting ready to get into a physical altercation with the other lady if need be. But Ashley immediately made her way over to handle the situation. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Shh. hey you. Sh she broke my TV I when I came the door. How did she break your TV? Because I told her to hold the door and I dropped it and it cracked. It's cracked. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Um, I don't know. Is you the manager? Yeah, so maybe you, you the manager, but you ain't acting like that. Isn't exactly the right way to treat a person trying to help. You can't hold it against Ashley if she decides to toss the annoying woman out now. Like I said, bitch, you gonna pay for my bitch? You gonna hey, pay for bitch, my is you, my is you gonna do? Bitch, bitch you gonna pay for my Don't act stupid. Despite having gotten her just dessert, the woman refused to relent on her attack and kept on talking up a storm, throwing threats all around without a care to the world. Who is the type that will get smacked? Really? Really. Try it. Y'all got me up. You have one my minute TV. to get your out of our store. 
After having missed payments for two whole months, this woman had the audacity to complain about the service she got when she tried to pay just a dollar. Hurry up, please. Oh, I gotta be working at three o'clock, so please. Ma'am, do you wanna come back when you have more time? Can you get somebody else to uh, serve me? If she would have looked at our policy, she would see that on a $1,200 loan, you need to pay $50. Since she seemed uneducated on how things work, Les took it upon himself to kindly explain how things actually work around the shop. If you put anything in layaway, you have to put more money down. But, okay, I understand that. I'm not old, I'm not seen now, I'm not a So fool. you even, well, if you're not a fool, why would you even come in and offer a dollar? The lady was a nasty piece of work, but they had no option other than to attend to her. A customer is still a customer after all. Despite her very condescending tone, they could only try to help her regardless as long as she doesn't go too far, of course. Time is ticking, time is So money. why don't you come back when you have time? I live way in my land. I'm not coming back. This is poor business. I don't gave y'all so much money and then this is how I get treated. Man, you're you know what? I hope you and your money live good on this earth because when God comes back, baby, you know, you're gonna be just of all the stuff that she's done what she said was the straw that broke the camel's back the golds decided to take necessary measures you please it takes a lot for my dad to get upset this lady took it to a whole new level she crossed the line looking to sell a watch this customer walked up to Les, asking him for four hundred dollars for a watch he claimed to have gotten for double the price Doing good, man. Good. What can I do for you? Let me at least like 400 for this watch right here. What can I do for you today? Can I get like 400 for this watch right here? We deal in high end watches. This was worthless. Nothing for us to deal with. Les appraised the watch and pegged it out to be absolutely worthless, a point he made sure to pass across to the man. But instead of just taking his business, this man decided to fly off the handle instead. Well, give me like 450 for this Why watch. Why are you yelling at me? I got a baby on the way, dog. Congratulations. I'm sick, living, I'm sick living at the crib, man. My girl on my head. Boy, give me 400 for this watch. 400? No. I'm sorry. This is a bullshit ass place, man. This whole ass place, dog. Les tried to be as nice as possible as he could to the guy, despite how annoying he was, kicking up a fuss and all. He went further and he did something that made Les lose his cool. Uh, excuse me. Hey, bitch, pick it up. Dog, me. Dog, don't touch me, homie, dog. Touch me, dude. I'm out this bitch, man. F y'all, man, for real. While trying to deal with a thieving employee, Ashley got dragged into another drama when she had to deal with this man who had just gotten his item out of pawn. Bought him in, like, what, like two months ago? All of a sudden, it's just f***ed up now. The nose piece that came off. So can you fix him or something for me? Let me see it. Some bull I'm like, what the f*** is this okay. It's a screw missing, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's quite normal for him to get upset over something like that. It's his item that got damaged after all, but he doesn't have to be that rude about it. Oh. Can you just put a screw in there for me? I just fix my please. I can. I can charge you. You can charge me? Yeah. What kind of is that? I was going to help you, but your mouth just kept talking. Listen, can you just fix my glasses, please? I will pay for it. Okay. 15. Things would have gone quite well if he had just done exactly what he did now, but being the undisciplined yoke that he is, he just couldn't help but make some rude comments along the way. A little short ass. It was not like that. Screw was missing his. Take it. Go somewhere else. Let me get your money back. Flat over here. And here's another rude customer who needs a lesson on the proper etiquette needed for engaging strangers especially strangers helping you out of a bind by buying your item. I was coming to buy my ring because I have to pay my rent. It was due a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. Why you keep looking at my ring like that is real? That is real diamond? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. This lady thinks that she's some kind of expert and keeps on pestering less with the nonsense that she came up with. $200. 200 Well, what I can do is I can give you 80 $80. $80. That's the only way I'm going to find it. So you're going to give me $200 or not? That was pretty atrocious, asking for more than her item's worth. She might be used to getting her way elsewhere, but Les made it clear that that's not how things are going to go today. How would you Ma'am. Like Ma'am, what the okay, She can go. She can go. Thank you. This woman came in claiming that she'd pawned her laptop at the store, though she didn't have a pawn ticket to prove it. Fortunately, she had her ID with her. 
computer is in here. Show me the ticket. And I'm a, I don't have it with me, but okay. I have my ID. Okay. If you need to see my sure. ID. Oh, there it is. There right you there. got it. Okay, Ms. Bowie, we definitely have you for a code, so you can go right over to the windows and make it. Unfortunately for her, her name didn't get any hits on the computer, and there was nothing that they could do about that. After all, there's no way that they can just hand her a laptop without seeing a ticket to back the whole thing up. My computer, yes, my computer. No, you have a fur coat in I, And I understand that, but I have also, I have a computer. Check and give me my computer. I checked and it's not here. I mean, damn, I do a lot of business I in know. here. I run this mother I'm like the VIP up in this bitch. Well, if it's not there, it's not there. Now, it might just be another plot to score a free laptop off the store, but there's no way Les would let something like that happen ever. Well, I'm not going nowhere. I'm here till you get stick my computer. Ma'am, stick around. I mean, I try to live a Christian life. She's a nice, polite Christian woman. Yeah, right. If I'm stupid, you stupid. Fine. Now what? We just two stupid mother. Well, the problem is this okay. stupid mother isn't going to yeah, help. Yeah. This customer just makes you wonder what's wrong with the world. Ashley couldn't even manage to hide her shock when she found out why she came to the store. Coming in to try to get like. 1500 for this. Okay. I'm trying to get my baby daddy out of jail, and I've been really trying to work things out with us. You're true, right? Just, that's my man. He does me good, okay? Although the entire thing is absolutely astonishing, Ashley can only move on. After all, it's a deal waiting to be made. Are you going to check the cars out or what? Is that like 50 bucks? No, not 50 bucks. I want 1500 for I these. I can't help you with that. I said. I don't care what you said. I don't want to hear that. I want 1500 Some people are just bonkers, and that's really clear to see. After all, a card store would obviously be the best option for items like this. And to top it all off, her demands are just way too unreasonable. They don't owe her a dime. 1500 What part of that you ain't understanding? I understand everything. You ain't You're not like getting $1,500. Yes, I want it. it. Let's play some sports. 100. Seth had to attend to this guy who came in looking to get a camera. What he did after he showed him an affordable piece of the ones they had available had Seth floored. I'm looking for cameras. What kind of good cameras you yeah, got? Yeah, whatever you need. Yeah, so some point oh, and shoot okay, right here. Oh, okay, over here? All right, yeah, I think I'll take this one. 